Today, the future of Cincinnati transportation came straight out of the past as opening day for the Cincinnati streetcar commanded the royal treatment in the Queen City. For the first time in 65 years, streetcars will be open for passenger service in Cincinnati. Crowd of hundreds turned out for the event, including Earl Clark and Bill Myers, who have a history with the streetcar. This is the last car that ever ran before today. Both were on that streetcar, the very last one to run in Cincinnati six decades ago. They were on the first one to leave today. They always say another streetcar will be along, and I thought it'd be nice to catch a ride on the next one that came along. I didn't think it'd take 65 years. They weren't alone. The Cincinnati Bell Connector was packed by people who wanted to be there for the first ride. I didn't want to miss the first day. It's wonderful. We live down here and can't wait to use it regularly. Many passengers on their first trip wanted to do the full 3.6 mile loop just to get back to where they started. Few had that feeling more than Earl and Bill. We never thought the whole thing would ever come full circle. We were convinced that was the end. There never would, that was over. That was the end of an era. But today, we've been disproved. All as the Cincinnati streetcar began its first day again. And even before we see how successful the streetcar will be, there was no shortage of talk today, not about if, but when and where the streetcar would expand. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank you. Riding the streetcar, by the way, is free all weekend. Beginning Monday, you're going to have to pay, but not much. One dollar gets you two hours. Two bucks buys an all-day pass. All right.